What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to take a look at a weapon I fell in love with overnight, the Time Worn Spire, the Iron Banner Push Rifle. In this video guys, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on why I think this is the daddy of PvP push rifles. Uh, I'm going to give you guys some gameplay on my behalf and an in-depth look at this weapon's stats. But before we go any further guys, do you want to win some juicy loot? I've got emblem codes, spiral codes, gift cards and much much more. To win some, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server linked within that video description. Okay, so the Time War Inspire, a weapon only obtainable via the Iron Banner. So Lord Saladin within that tower, you need to rank him up basically by cashing in 20 Iron Banner tokens to receive an engram. That engram can drop basically all kinds of loot, but you have a chance of getting this thing right here. Now you'll get 5 tokens per win within Iron Banner and 2 per loss. So the grind can be quite real. Now I had this drop yesterday and at first glance I looked at it and thought this could be okay but I'm not much of a pulse rifle type of person. Anything you have to keep spamming the trigger I don't really enjoy but I used it last night within PvP and I slowly got used to how fast this thing can fire and spamming that trigger and once I did guys I fell in love with this weapon. Now do you guys remember the old school Iron Banner Pulse Rifle? The Clever Dragon, the thing that broke PvP for a certain short time? This is the same kind of weapon. This is the new school Clever Dragon. It seriously is, people. I'm not even kidding you guys. Now, mods on this, we, well, perks on this, we have Zen Moment. We have Tactical Mag or Accurage Rounds. And we have Hitmark IS, Red Dart Micro or Rifle Scope SSF. Now, you can see I'm using that sexual color selected shader. I mean, it just looks unbelievable. It seriously does. Now, we can see this has 39 rounds in a magazine as well and it shoots 540 rounds per minute but on screen now we'll take a look at its in-depth stats where you guys see me playing with this within pvp okay so this one will do 18 damage to the head and it will do 12 damage to the body damage to the head per second is 162 damage per second to the body is 108 the fastest possible time to kill with this weapon is 1.07 seconds coming from 11 headshots or 4 bursts it will empty its entire clip in 4.06 seconds its reload time is 1.16 seconds its ads time is 0.8 seconds its rate of fire like we already know is 540 rounds per minute so that's basically nine bullets per second that should give you a brief idea of how fast this thing shoots its aim assistance is 79 and its recoil direction is 60 but more about the recoil direction actually we'll see that on screen now um our little recording i did earlier where we pause that gameplay of me you recommend this within pvp okay so as we can see on screen now this is we're using no kinetic counterbalance mods we can see this thing pulls to the right it doesn't go up any it's like it doesn't go vertical it goes to the right with two kinetic counterbalance mods applied to my armors while I'm using this that pull to the right recoil completely eliminates it goes up which is seriously easy to control these two counterbalance mods on this make a serious difference they seriously do now i have seen people say that these mods do absolutely nothing when in fact this proves that they actually do so the, the recoil on this isn't too bad and it is easy to control with or without counterbalance mods but in my opinion with them it does make it easier so back to that gameplay people. So yes, the Time War Inspire, in my opinion, is the best PvP push rifle in the game. There's, I mean, I've used a few now. Uh, there's a few that are okay. Nothing stands out to me. I mean, the Vigilance Wing is probably the one I think, yeah, well, that's okay. That's good, in fact. But this, in my opinion, outdoes it in every way. It seriously does. Now, I will do a video if you guys want to see this versus the Vigilance Wing, where we compare all the stats on both, and I give my honest opinion on both. But I don't think there's going to be anything anytime soon that beats this, the Time War Inspire. If you guys were a fan of the Clever Dragon, if you guys were a fan of the Omnigore Grasp of Malak, you guys will definitely be a fan of this. You seriously will. The Time War Inspire, in my opinion, is the best weapon to come out of the Iron Banner. But in saying that, I haven't used the Auto Rifle yet, which people have told me is absolutely great. But we will use that and we will see. But in my opinion, the Time War Inspire is going to take some serious beating. It really is. 
Like I said, it's a weapon I obtained yesterday. Tried it at last minute and absolutely fell in love with it. And as you guys know, I ain't very good at PvP. Um, I'm casual, I'm average at best. But if I can do good with this thing, you guys can too. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you have this Time 1 Spire and have used it within PvP, let me know what you think about it down below within that comment section. I know the weapon ain't going to be for everybody, but for me, it's definitely the best thing to come out of Iron Banner so far, besides my Hunter armor, obviously. But guys, thanks for stopping by as always. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on my next video. Always in the wrong